Greetings and salutations. My name is Tish and welcome to the Artist Haven, where home plus art equals heart. In today's live video broadcast, I am going to be mixing up some paints that we're going to be using later on. Um, I want them to sit for about 24 hours, but I figured I'd go over the mixing instructions. I'm going to do two, maybe three different types of pouring mediums that I want to try out. I will not be doing a pour today. Um, it's been kind of a dark day for me. <laughs> um, if you are unfamiliar with my channel and me, um, I live with depression and some days are better than others. And for some reason, my depression wanted to jump up and kick my ass today. So, um, I just literally got out of bed. I've been up since 8 a.m. and it's now 3.30 and I got out of bed like an hour ago maybe just because I knew I needed to do this and it had to be done and I can't call it off. I can't just, I got to do it. So that's what I'm doing to show you guys that it is possible to live with depression. You don't have to battle it. You don't have to you know, you just live with it. You know, you, you live with your significant other. You love it. <laughs> you love that person. But some days you feel like you just got to live with them, you know, or her or they or whatever pronoun they go by. Oh, look at all the angels we have with us today. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I was worried with the time changes for the new year that I wouldn't have anybody here at 3.30 or <laughs> any of the new times. I was kind of worried about that. Jason's not going to be here. He had a meeting this afternoon and some errands he needed to run. So um, he might catch the tail end. I don't know yet. So I see Blair and Miss Elisa and Doris and Brenda. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So thankful that you are here today. Thank you for all the hugs and happy vibes. <laughs> I'm not an angel. Just don't tell my mom. Yeah, my mom doesn't think I'm an angel. <laughs> Unless, you know, she thinks I'm more of a demon. But that's okay. We won't go there. So, <clears throat> I have to say thank you to Doris for showing me Mina. I don't even know how to pronounce her last name. It begins with a V. Um... I saw one of hers and I kind of went meh, but then one of hers came out up in my feed and I'm like, well, that one looks cool. And I've been kind of binge watching um, all morning because I just laid in bed and watched YouTube and stayed on my heating pad and under my blankets and drank orange juice and <laughs> talked to Jason and yeah, so um, but I, I I'm like her mixing medium her mixing thing is a little bit different and I've been trying to find something different because everybody uses Floetrol everybody gets similar results everything goes everything you know so and I'm sure it's all been tested it's all been tried but I want to try it for myself and I'm sure that you guys um, are interested in something new too so and, and since I'm here to experiment because not everybody has access to all the stores that I have to all the things that I have um, available to me because I went to Hobby Lobby last night after work. You know, I had, you know, I had, or not Hobby Lobby because Hobby Lobby is closed on Sundays. Um, I went to Michael's and got some new paints. And um, I have a Home Depot and a Menards and a Lowe's all within, you know, a mile and a half of my house. So for me, I have accessibility. And to order things on Amazon is great, but one, if it's winter time, you don't necessarily want to have things shipped to you because they have the possibility of freezing. Two, sometimes you don't have Amazon Prime, so shipping can be a factor. And, you know, you, sometimes you just don't want to spend the money until you know it's going to work. So here, let me see if it's going to work and let's see if this goes. Because I love the bloom pours. What the heck? Someone's calling me. That's why my phone's been going oompa loompa noise. Okay, you be quiet. You're a 1-800 number. You're not important. So, um, so here I am with access to a bunch of fun things, and I'm here to share that fun thing with you. So what we're going to do 
Um, but the bloom plort, that's what I was trying to say. Got distracted by my phone going ooh pa pa. It, it makes a waltz vibration noise. It's really funny. But it um, distresses me. Um, the bloom pour base is the Glidden Semi Gloss Base 3 and Polyacrylic. But I've not been having very good luck with those bloom pours. Um, they're very beautiful if you can get the knack to it. And you know what? I'm just really not into <laughs> trying and trying and trying something that's actually quite expensive because one of these one of these is is like 15 16 17 dollars for a quart and then you have to buy the other thing which is you know so you're spending 30 dollars for a half gallon of, of stuff when i can go get a gallon of flow trail for 13 dollars okay so but mina mixes her paint with liquitex a uh, glass varnish medium something or other which is $25 for a pint okay or 16 ounces yeah which is a pint, two pints quart whatever 16 ounces and I'm like golly jeepers even with a 40% coupon that's still kind of expensive not everybody has access to it or you know to a 40% off coupon let me see what I can find that might work the same and let me use up something that I already have. I already have, there's, this thing's still half full. So that's what got me to thinking. And then also um, I wanted to try out, <laughs> I found, when I was cleaning up my studio when I first moved in here, I found a whole bin of those little bottles of, what are they called? Mod Podge, Mod Podge, Mod Podge, Mod Podge, that I got at the dollar store because <clears throat> I just kept throwing them in a bin because I kept finding them in bags and boxes and things. And pretty soon I had like seven of them. And then I had a couple of half bottle of regular Elmer's, Elmer's glue all. And so I mixed it all into, into a bottle with some water. And I've never had a purpose for it until now. And I'm like, well, I'm going to try that glue because all that glue all is is PVA glue, all that mod podge is is glue is pva glue there are slight variances like this this is the gloss mod podge um so it has another additive to it to make it more glossy but i thought well let me make a 70 30 water glue water pva glue mix and see how that works and i have the exact mix because it's 7.5 ounces of mod podge gloss five ounces of um, Elmer's glue all and then there's 2.5 ounces of distilled water but in order to make it a 70 30 mix I need to bump that 2.5 up to four ounces so um, that's what we'll do we'll do that second half <laughs> oh what's it what's what 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 are you guys talking about now Yeah, she makes me laugh too. Yeah, I have Prime. I'm not saying, I, and I don't even get that much stuff shipped from Amazon. I just have it. Yep, there is a 20%. That's why I got these, because these are buy one, get one half price. The Liquitex Basics and the Artist Loft level one where buy one get one 50 percent off and then you got another 20 percent off of that so i was all over that um um but i have amazon prime because when i do watch tv i usually watch i usually like turn on the tv and have it as background noise um like i watch bones and because I've seen them so many times, I don't need to sit and actively watch them. Um, and then there are occasions where I'll get a nostalgia feather in my ear. And someone's car alarm is going off. Sorry about that. But I watch it for TV. I do it for TV, for my TV. So, yeah. All right. 
I'm going to mute my microphone just because that's annoying. Hang on. Okay, they finally shut it off. Good lord. Oops. Clickety click, click, click. Too many clicks. Oh, I know. They have Downton Abbey. Oh, I have. They're supposedly coming out with a movie. I haven't heard any details. Um, I'm also addicted to Victoria. That is on. Uh, what's it called? PBS. The whole reason why I. I pay $5 a month to the PBS station here. It's just so I can watch Victoria. Oh, gosh, there's more than half in here. Okay, so I'm going to get a stick here. I'm going to get one of the big, big sticks. And we're going to stir this gently. So this is the semi-gloss base 3 in Glidden. Hold our, yeah, I know. Yeah, I thought it was supposed to come out like right before Christmas, but I didn't see anything for it. And I figured I would because, you know, everything is Downton Abbey. It's like back when life was simple without electronics and stuff. And just, and I was just talking to Jason about this and, and Adam too last night. Um, you know, 2020, it's always the, I think it was Adam. Maybe I was talking to someone else. I know it was, I know it was Jason this morning. Um, he, the 20s of every almost every century is kind of like the dawning of a new age. So, I mean, if you think back to the 20s, granted there was, you know, plagues and stuff, but the telephone and the automobile became really popular and able to be produced, um, you know, by mass produced and made it affordable for um, a, a good po portion of the population and it's just really kind. Of, it's just really kind of cool, and it, it just makes me wonder what kind of technology we're gonna have in the next ten years. You know, I mean, look at what we have now. It's just insanely incredible. I mean, even twenty years ago, which would have been you know two thousand. You know, if you look back, you know, it's just crazy. Just craziness. There's my J. Thank you, Doris. Okay, so what I'm thinking here, and I got my pen and my paper so I can take notes. This is my <laughs> this is my dollar store notebook. It says, just do more of what makes you happy. And I crossed that out and, and said giggle because giggle is more important because giggle makes me, giggles make me happy. So this is where I put all my notes for like make, mixing colors and all that kind of stuff. So I want to find a page here that's not all full paint. <laughs> that might be a challenge. Um. And then what I was thinking is doing this in ounces. <clears throat> um, I got my smaller cups out. So maybe we'll do, because if we do six ounces of Floetrol, she, Mina uses 16 ounce glasses. And from the look of it, she uses about, uh, she uses like the bottom bit of the glass, which I would say is probably about two ounces, an ounce to two ounces of 
of the the Liquitex gloss medium varnish stuff. So, and then she fills it not quite all the way to the top of the flow trawl. So I would say she probably uses about 10 to 12 ounces of flow trawl. So let's go off the 12 ounces thing and two ounces and then probably another ounce or so of paint. So I'm thinking that's about the ratio. Um, so one, two, and then 12. Is what I'm thinking. Just to keep it easy. No, I didn't read what you wrote. Menards. <laughs> you have to take notes. That is one thing. That is one thing that. Yay, he mailed it. Okay. Um, one thing that as a soap maker and as a baker, both, you have to take meticulous notes. Um, because if something fails, you need to know what you did wrong. And if something succeeds, you want to be able to duplicate it again. Soap making, um, also with candle making, because I started from just plain wax, plain color, and scent. And some scents didn't go with colors, and some colors didn't go with the wicks. And you had to figure out which one was which. I mean, being a chandler and soap maker taught me a lot about life, really. Um, so what I'm thinking is one part, one part paint, two parts, and this will just be a general guideline. Okay. And we're not going to do the three ounces liquid text pouring medium one. Ounce. See, I was close. I was close, close. Just looking at at her glass and knowing how much goes in one of those 60 ounce glasses all those years of bartending are paying off <laughs> hello julia what are we doing today brain <laughs> taking over the world <laughs> taking the world by storm. Okay, so she has three, one, twelve, eight to twelve. So let's do three. Let's do one, two, and then six, and then we will bump that up later to see. Because I just want to see where we're at. So we're gonna do. This is paint. One ounce paint. Two ounces of the semi gloss. We'll do paint, um, base and then six ounces of Floetrol, and we'll see where we're at. Because water's cheaper than anything. You can buy a gallon of water for like a buck fifty. Okay, so let's start off with the base, and we're going to do two ounces in this cup. And we're going to do one cup and see how these little cups work, because I don't know how this is going to work. And... I'm measuring. Y'all don't have to. I mean, once you guys, I, I guess it's just my science side. I, you know, that's the weird thing about me is I hate math and, but I love science. I love experimenting. I love reading the details and theories and quantum physics and quantum mechanics. And I used to know a lot of that stuff, but I had to forget stuff to try and remember this stuff. So, <laughs> okay, so and then let's try and I got some I got some new pink. So the pink lovers will, will be happy. This is a um, medium magenta from Liquitex Basics. So I've never worked with this before. And there's no foil on the top. I, I always get I always feel a little sketchy. I should check them out in the store and make sure none of them <laughs> like, like someone steal stole some out of my tube, man. Okay, so we're going to do an ounce of paint. You know what? That's a half ounce. Let's do a half ounce of paint. Let's see how that looks. We can always add more paint. So I'm going to make note of that, that I did a half ounce of paint. Okay. So always have a pen and a piece of paper, or you can be like me 
when I'm at work and have your phone handy and just use your, you know, stylus and make yourself some notes. Okay, let's get another sticky stick. <laughs> okay. Jason has to shovel a, a pathway for the dog. Little Cricket can't go out in the two feet of snow. She's just a little chihuahua, you know. Okay, so here's some pink. And this is really super thick. Holy Hannah. Okay. I'm going to stir this up really good. And I did get some thick body that we're going to mix up so we can see kind of the difference just to see right away. Okay, because see right away, there's a lot of air bubbles in there. But let's see if we can get this to show you. Got a really thick trace. I and mean, we're talking seven count of seven before it disappears okay and i think i am going to add that other half ounce of paint to this one two one two three four five six seven. yeah seven a solid seven but i'm going to add the other half ounce of paint to this just because well i'm feeling that way I'm second guessing myself already. So let's stick with what we the plan here. And we're gonna do another half ounce of paint. Because I have I'll still have enough to do my normal mix. And this is one that we're gonna do in the glue as well. And then um because I want to see how it works. Because I've never done any of the glue mixes because here's my thought glue isn't at our archival um regular elmer's glue all and mod podge usually turns things yellow so and or has a yellow cast to it and i never liked that so i've kind of been hesitant to use it in a painting that i want to sell now if you're doing these for gifts or something or if you just want to play around and get the idea and the feel of things then you know glue is a lot easier to get a hold of i mean you can go to the dollar store and get pva glue and you know okay so let's yeah this is really thick that's awesome i like it okay sorry i've got the hiccups oh and i bought a candle at michael's too because it's holiday spice it cost me a whole dollar 25. i will never probably burn it i leave them open <laughs> and they leave the scent out so that you know that I just never burn them because I use too much spray paint and I use too much other stuff so let's see we're going to do six ounces of Floetrol hopefully this will all fit in this glass okay there's six and I don't know if we're going to be able to mix all these because I don't have very much flow troll left. That's what I was supposed to do today, but I've been having a day. So, all right, let's stir this up. Yeah, Mod Podge is not, it does not make me happy. And actually, you know what is a better medium if you're going to be doing decoupage is just polyacrylic polyacrylic works just as good polyacrylic and some saran wrap and you're good to go <clears throat> google it that's the best results i've ever gotten and it doesn't yellow i mean it may eventually yellow okay so this is thinner but still very thick and i think we need to Okay. See, it's still okay. 
part of the reason people have problems with the mound on a mound or using the mound method is because it does twirly gigs, as I call them. Um, when it comes off the stick, it makes like this little circle thing. And it's like, how am I supposed to see if it's making a mound? But it goes in like this little circle thing. So that's why I rely uh, more on the trace element where I draw it across one, two, three, four, five. We're at about a five, five and a half. So if we add more flow trial to this, we might actually get, because I don't like to pour anything that's thicker than a five because that's when you start dabbling in that crazing and cracking stage. So let's get the rest of the colors mixed up. Tomorrow morning, I will get up and go to Menards. I'm not going anywhere today. I just, people will make me mad. <laughs> and then I might have to do my live from a jail cell, which I don't think they'll let me do. So, because I can get very mouthy. My German-Irish redheaded temper likes to flare up. Three. So when you're check when you're checking for consistency, I would say this is mound. I would say this is not mound on a mound. This is thicker than mound on a mound. And I'm getting one, two, three, four. So let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five. A solid five, five and a half. So I would add more flow trawl to this or a little bit of water. Okay. So let's Put this pink aside. It looks like Pepto Bismol, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Julia. Okay, so we're gonna wipe off the stick here. Actually, we're gonna give this another just quick stir. Make sure we get the bottom because I'm seeing there's some there's some paint down at the bottom or base down at the bottom. Which is cool because this stuff, I actually let this dry. I took some out and just let it dry on a on a um, ceramic tile because I knew either way I'd be able to peel it up. But it dries perfectly clear, like perfectly clear, like like not like glass clear, but more like frosted glass clear, if that makes any sense. Okay. So... And, you know, Liquitex Basics is very expensive. So if this works the similar to that and gives the cells like that, you know, because cells have a lot to do with how you pour, not only just your paint, you know, and the densities of the paint and the reaction between the paints, you know. It, it, there's so many elements when mixing paint and doing different projects like this. So I'm going to clean off my lip and get a piece of press and seal. And then we're just going to stretch it across and seal it up. I'm going to let this sit. And actually, I have a Sharpie. Look, I found my Sharpie. Ta-da! Two people at my job, and I, yeah, I work at an office, yeah. Okay, so this is, we're going to call this the Glidden Mix. And this is the Medium Magenta. But you can see it, it still kind of has it down in the bottom in that groove of the cup. And I run this, I ran the stick down there and it didn't seem to help. So, okay, let's scratch this half off of there. And we're going to do Glidden. Make sure I spell it right. Mix. Okay. So. That's how we're going to do the Glidden Mix. And I'm going to do I'm going to do one more because I think I have enough flow trial for one more. And then the rest of them I'll do tomorrow morning when I get back from the store. Because let me check my flow trial. Yeah, no, not very much left. 
I get really sad when I don't have, when I have like this much left at the bottom of the container, you know, there's like that much left. It's like, oh, I'm almost out. I can't use it until I get more. I was driving in at 2 a.m. We were out of coffee. Yeah, but being a... Uh, uh, you guys are talking about snow. Okay, so this is the uh, Persian blue, the Prussian blue. And we're going to do the same mix. But this is a th uh, thick body acrylic. So we're going to see how this mixes up. Okay, I think there's some resin or something, like part A or part B on this on this pad. So I need to get rid of that. All right. Put that down there. We're going to go two ounces again. Okay, that's a little bit more than two ounces. That's more like two and a half ounces. So we're going to go with it because that's what's probably lost in that little crack. <laughs> there we go. All right, where'd my lid go? There he is. <laughs> well, and that's, that's what I got to do, picking up stuff at 6 a.m. Because then it's not so people-y. I don't have to deal with people. Okay, so I'm grabbing a stick. Somewhere. I need longer arms. No, I don't. I already have gorilla arms. Okay. So let's do an ounce of paint because we're going to keep it all consistent just so we can see the different consistencies. There we go. Ooh, good little extra bloob. There we go. Just because that's two and a half and, you know. So I did 1.2 ounces of paint. Yeah, I know, but I'm just going to do, yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is super thick. This is like, this is the way a milkshake should feel. Or, yeah, a malt. Ooh, malted. I haven't had malted anything in a long time. Okay, so I'm going to scrape the sides here. And this blue might be kind of hard to see for the trace, but I'm going to try. Because this is really, it's not as thick. Because I watched, I watched Mina's video on how she mixes her paint. And her sister-in-law, I think it was, um, had the hiccups. And it was so adorable. I'm like, get that girl a glass of water. <laughs> so... A feel for her pain, though. Feel her pain. Okay, so this has a lot of air bubbles in it, which is fine. But let's see if we can get the reflection to work with us. Oh, I can't see. Hang on. Let me see for myself to see what we're at. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Holy crap, it's almost eight. Okay, so let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Light, 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 light. Let there be light, and there was light. I'm way really off key. Okay, so there is your trace. Okay, can you kind of see? I'm trying to catch up on that reflection. It's very, very thick. So let's add our six ounces of Floetrol, but I got to add more Floetrol to my filtered flow troll. And this needs to be stirred up some more because there's still some chunks in there. Yum, milkshake said fabulous. Get the blue that Brenda used in one of her vids. It was beautiful. Hmm. I've watched a lot of her videos, so I'll ha you have to be more specific, player. <laughs> I think she's Blenda. Blenda. Brenda is the the. She is 
part, I will say part. She plays part in my uh, in my little crush on galaxy pores because she did some galaxy resin. I think it was resin. It was during, I think it was right towards the end of the YouTube 100 challenge. And girl, let me tell you, she has the most adorable voice ever. <laughs> just, and she's cute too. And she's just, oh, she's just adorable. And, you know, then there's me, a big gloppy, <laughs> floppy, moppy. <laughs> Speaking of moppy, I think I'm going to take a shower. I know that doesn't make any sense, but I got moppy hair. It's moppy. It doesn't want to do anything. You know what I heard is you can pop it in the microwave for 10 seconds. Your resin cups, as long as they're plastic. And that'll help soften the resin and help you peel it off. That's what I heard. Hang on one second. I got to grab a filter thing. Okay, so I'm using just, this is from the dollar store, and you can see it's got parts where it's got Floetrol stuck to it because I forgot to rinse it out right away. But um, one of the things that I found is if you stick it in hot boiling water, that stuff just comes right off. So, um, uh need an extra hand or longer arms <laughs> honey Brenda you do a beautiful job at making your videos you do wonderful and you know what um Someone that I follow on YouTube and Twitter said, you know what, just do your best for today and then tomorrow make it 1% better and 1% better and 1% better or even a half a percent better. Do one little thing to make it better. Um, one of the things that I did when I first started making actual recorded videos is I did make a script, but I made an outline. So I had all the colors that I was gonna be using on a piece of paper so I can know which colors I was going to be using, knowing what additives, how many drops, blah, 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 blah. And I had that right in front of me on a clipboard and big, bold print because I'm old. And <laughs> that helped me know what I needed to say. Um, and then it, like the greeting that I do every time for the lives, for everything, you know, the greetings and salutations. Welcome to the artist haven. We're home plus art equals heart. You say it over and over and over in your head while you're brushing your teeth in your head, in your shower, while you're driving to work. Say it a thousand times and that way you don't need to, you know, practice it. It'll just be second nature. So still working on the outro and all that stuff. Okay, we might be kissing this flow trial bottle goodbye. Oh, maybe not. Maybe there is enough in here to do a couple more. <gasps> oh, I'll be so happy. But I still need to go to I still need to go to Menards. And I, I'm not buying my flow trial. I'm finding that the flow trial that I get at Home Depot has a lot more chunks in it and is a lot more inconsistent, if that makes any sense. Um, than the stuff I get at Menards. Because Menard the the one at Home Depot, they have it by their back door. And so it gets cold in the winter and really hot in the summer. And I don't know how, well, I know the one that they, they've gotten at least a pet. <laughs> they've gotten at least some new ones since I was there. Cause the last ones that I bought right before Thanksgiving were all covered in dust. And then when I went in there again, before Christmas, none of them had dust on them. So <laughs> I knew they had at least a new palette maybe. Okay. So, you know what I do um, <clears throat> is I take this and I dump a bunch of distilled water in it and I shake it up and shake it up and shake it up to rinse it out um, because you need to clean them out before you can put them in the recycling. So, I rinse them out and then I'll put a little bit of down dish soap and wash them out. 
and then they go in the recycling. But also, I'm saving these to mix up other big batches of paint, and that'll come later. You'll you'll see that that's going to be coming later. And then, um, but the water, I don't dump out the water. I put it in, I save it in one container, and I use that same water in all the containers. And then that's going to be some of my, that's like when I do my 50-50 flow trawl in water, that's the water I use for the 50-50. So I'm getting more water than flow trawl. But it still has flow trawl that I wouldn't be able to use normally. See, I'm very frugal. Some might say I'm cheap, but I'm just very frugal. Okay, let me find a cup. Hey, 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 cup. I need a cup. Okay, so... Turn this back on, and then we're going to go six ounces of Floetrol. And this, this is part of the reason why I wanted to mix today and pour tomorrow. Because I knew it was going to be really bubbly. And I don't mind the freckles, Miss Doris. I caught that in your last video. <laughs> Measles. Poor little freckles. All they want to do is exist. But um, I don't mind the freckles. But I'm afraid that with this and this and, you know, just being mixed together in a layered cup, dirty pour type thing, it's going to be way too many. So, okay. I'm going to stir this up and put this down here so I don't fry out, freak out my scale. I'm not cheap. I, I like things to be nice. I'm very frugal. I don't see. Here's the thing. Like macaroni and cheese. I will only buy Kraft macaroni and cheese. I won't even buy the Velve Velveeta shells and cheese because it doesn't taste like Velveeta. It tastes like something else. I don't know. I, if I'm going to make shells and cheese, I may I buy a brick of Velveeta. Some butter and some uh, and some milk. And a little bit of sharp cheddar. Just a little bit. I sprinkle a little bit in there just to give it a little bit of punch and some fresh cracked pepper. Yeah. So, um, anywho, I only buy Kraft macaroni and cheese, but I only buy it when it's on sale. <laughs> Difference between frugal and cheap. If I need something cheap, like, like my, these popsicle sticks, I'll get them at the dollar store. I won't buy the expensive ones. Why? They're not. If I was making a little like a little craft project with kids or something and I wanted it to stay stick around for a couple of years. Yeah. Then I'd buy the more expensive ones. I wouldn't buy the dollar store ones because, you know, but for just for stirring. Psh, yeah. Heinz ketchup. Yeah, I don't eat ketchup, so I'll take your word on it. I do put ketchup in my Sloppy Joes, though. When I make Sloppy Joes and Messy Moes. Oh, gross. I just saw that. Ew. I can't unsee that. Ketchup on macaroni and cheese. Ugh, be still my poor breaking heart. Okay, so this is really pretty. This is going to look so cool. Oh, I forgot to grab the black. I have my black somewhere. You know what's funny is I don't have any, like, regular black. I didn't buy any. I was going to. I'm still going to. I'm going to go tomorrow. Maybe I'll leave a little bit later and go to the Michael, the other Michaels, because I look to get, okay, I was thinking all you pink girls out there and pink guys, because there are some guys that like pink, and I wanted to get, oh, this pink again, okay? This nice hot pink. This is Liquid Text Basics, neon pink. Well, I got the fluorescent blue, okay, fluorescent pink. I got the fluorescent blue because I don't, I've never tried that one. The one I have is the neon blue from um, 
artist loft and they didn't have any neon pink and they didn't have any of the other one that I needed, the, the deep green. So I gotta go do a different Michaels since they have them on sale. That's how I stayed under my budget, Jay. <laughs> they didn't have all the paint that I wanted, but I got two bottles of this stuff. And I got another jar of this because I had a 50% off coupon. Because if you sign up for their text messaging, um, they give you a 50% off coupon. Which I signed up for it. And then in a week, I'll just like hit stop. Because I don't need any extra text messages. Not that I get all, the, all that many text messages. Okay, let's see what we got here. One, two, three, four. Ooh, we're, this is actually thinner. One, two, three, four. One, two. Let's try it again. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we're at a four with this one. So I'm not going to add any water to this one for sure. That's interesting. Maybe it'll thicken up as it sits. Because it is a mound on a mound. But it is still really thick. So maybe it just needs to kind of, they need to mix and mingle. They need to get to know each other. Okay. Wiping that off. I know I've been having a day, I tell you. Okay, so let's put this over here. Bacon dressing. Now, bacon dressing would be, if, if you're talking about like an actual like salad dressing, I'd be all over that. Because that sounds amazing. Because it's bacon. And I'm actually think, contemplating making what we in Minnesota call an egg bake. <laughs> Kind of a Minnesota thing. I don't know if anybody else calls it that, but I know people looked at us funny when we did it at the Renaissance Festival for the breakfast buffet for all the festies. Um, <clears throat> there we go. There is cup number two. We're just going to let that sit, mix and mingle. And then we're going to move on to the glue because... I want to get one of those mixed up so we can see what that's going to be like. So what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to bring out one of the containers that Blair gave me, if I can find what I did with them. They're still in the box. I didn't have room in my tub. <laughs> okay, so we're going to use one of these big guys, and we're going to, I think... Where'd the other bottle go? No, we don't need one of the big, big ones. Because I think, no, yeah, we'll use one of the big ones. Okay, and then we're going to have a lid for it. Because we're going to mix. We're going to mix. I don't need the scale right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's basically bacon grease and garlic and I've had and fresh pepper and at least that's what I've always had. I don't know. That seems like an awfully big container. I think those are what size are these? This should work. Uh, go big or go home, right? Well, I'm gonna really waste one of those. Okay. Put that. Yeah, that should work. Cause that's 20 ounces. This is I think 12 or 16 and we're only going to add two more ounces of water so i just think it'd be easier <laughs> you guys would i okay i when i can figure out my setup for my kitchen again because right now i'm not sure how i'm going to do that oh it's spooch um not sure how I'm going to do my setup for my kitchen again because I can't bring my laptop in there. 
um, because my laptop doesn't record. Just does this funny thing now. And I don't really want to use my phone. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But that's the reason why I haven't been making the food videos is because I haven't had a way to record them. So... So what we're doing is I'm dumping this mix into here because I want to make sure we get this all nice and mixed up, okay? And then we're going to put um, I'm trying to remember what Julie Cuts does on her videos when she does she does a 60-40 PVA mix, but I'm going to do a 70-30 just because I'm not sure how this is going to work and we can always add more water. So, um, where'd my distilled water go? There it is. Ooh. Okay. So, I need to add an ounce and a half of water. So, we're going to put an ounce and a half of water in here. Close enough, 1.6. I eat a pound of bacon in like a two weeks, <laughs> but that's all. I don't eat all that much. I eat yogurt and I make smoothies and I don't eat red meat. I eat chicken once in a while. Chocolate covered bacon is amazing. <laughs> that's funny, the iron pig. Are you sure that's politically correct for those poor pigs out there? <laughs> okay. Okay, so I got this mostly cleaned out. You can see it's really bubbly, but that's okay because that's why we're mixing it up today. And we're going to use it tomorrow night on the Tish Tuck at 9.30. And there's a reason why, okay, I'm going to forewarn you all now. The reason why I went 9.30 is because it, in my head, after 9 p.m. is after dark, okay? My kids were always in bed by 9 o'clock until, you know, they were older. And... Um, I just don't want, I realize that we're all in different time zones and nine o'clock over here is still seven o'clock on the, on the West coast. I apologize profusely right now for that, but I have to find a happy medium. So that's what I did. <clears throat> all right. We're just going to use this stick again because there's not enough on there. Okay. So this isn't very thick. So let's just stir this up. This just seems really watery. I know it's bubbly. Let's see if we can get some of these bubbles to go away. Let's smush them. We're only going to do three colors in this. So pick a color, any color. And I think... Yeah, we'll just stick with the Liquitex Basics. We'll do this gray purple... We'll do these three, because I've got a lot of that dioxazine purple. These that are the prism violet. That would be pretty. Hmm. Seventy-five percent glue, twenty-five percent hot water. Then adds it to paint flow chalk. See, I want. I'm just wondering if I should add, because Julie Cutts does all these really cool pullers with all these, just, whoa, there was a chunk there. And I just wanted to see if I could get similar results with glue. Man, glue stinks, okay? <laughs> like, literally stinks. Floetrol doesn't smell this bad. So, you know what we'll do? Hang on. Let's try something. So, hang on. Let's 
let's do, I'm going to write this down right now. So we did 70-30 glue, glue to water, okay, PVA, because it's a blend. And I got the blend written down already, so we can get something similar. And then we're going to do 50% that. Hmm, should we do a half-half or should we do a full mix? I don't eat the glue gross. Triggle wiggle pour. Wriggle, 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 wriggle. Okay. So, <clears throat> hang on. I need a drink of my Dr. Pepper. I'm drinking the last of my Dr. Pepper from yesterday because I don't want to get caffeine headache. That would just put book a book. So, should we do a 50-50 mix of the glue, the 70-30 mix of glue and water? And then do 50% Floetrol, or should we do like a 70, another 70-30? Do 70% glue all to 30% Floetrol. <clears throat> I'm just curious what you guys' input would be. I'm going to try and do Mina's pretzel pour. That's one of the things that I'm going to try and do this week or next week. In the weeks to come, in the days to come, let's just put it that way. If I keep feeling like this, it's going to be a challenge just to get me on camera. So um, let's start with 70-30. Let's do, that way we don't have to get this out. Because I think I can fit. Uh, let's see how much is in here first. Okay, let's tear this out. Because uh, there should be about 17 ounces in here. No, I haven't gotten my resin yet. It's supposed it, I'm assuming it's going to come today or tomorrow, but today's post has already been here. Okay, yep, I've got 14.7 ounces, <clears throat> so we'll just round that up to 15. Okay, and so 30% of that, a third of 15 is what? Uh, two would be four, seven. Hang on, I gotta grab my. I got a tracking number, but all it says on the um, website is that it's being processed. Install. So at 2 a.m. googly thing. Okay, why do I have a voicemail? Okay, so burp, burp, burp. I need a calculator, sorry y'all. My brain doesn't function. Times 0.3, so 4.5 ounces. Yeah, I can fit 4.5 ounces in there. Her fantasy pour. I, you know, she has a lot of, of things on there that I really love. Um, a lot more <clears throat> on her stuff than other channels. Her style, her artistic style is a lot like mine. Whereas a lot of other people are more, they're different than, they're, they're, they're a different expression, you know. Still beautiful, not judging them. Still beautiful paints, you know, still beautiful paintings. Just not my style. That's why I was reaching over there. So I needed, what did I need again? Good golly. I will, if I if I don't get it tomorrow, I'll, I'll email them. 4.5 ounces is 30%. God bless it, hiccups. I guess it's paint pouring or paint, paint mixing that gives people the hiccups. Okay, 4.5 ounces. Okay. 
And see, for me, well, that's four point. Let's just do five. See, for me, <clears throat> I have five ounces in there. So we did 15 ounces of the, so three parts to one part is basically um, glue mix. Um, but glue oil is more expensive for me in most places. So because I'm, I'm contemplating getting that clear goo because I watched the, what's her name, uh, Jilly. She's from Australia, too. She used some clear glue, and that looked pretty cool. I'd like to, the thing with some of their paintings, though, like, um, the reason why I like um, Mina is because she shows the dried results. She shows how it dried. So I can see, hey, did it crackle? Did it craze? Did it, did it do weird stuff? You know, did it separate? So I can be prepared for that because if I'm prepared for that, then it doesn't become a disappointment. <laughs> okay, so basically we did three to one, the glue troll, the glue troll. That's what we're gonna call it, glue troll. Uh, Mina, Mina, Brenda, I, I she has a lot of fantasy pores on her on her channel and a lot of galaxy pores and a lot of just really cool stuff. I like that she works on big canvases, which is what I'm working on getting up to. I'm also working on pouring on furniture. <clears throat> though at the rate that I'm going, <laughs> although today was a good day and I missed out on it, but that's okay. Okay, so we're going to see. This isn't that thick now. I thought it'd be a lot thicker. But let's go with this. Because it is thicker than it was. And once I add the paint to it, I think we're going to do smaller proportions. Okay, we're going to do three colors, and then we're going to call it a day, because I'm just thinking too much. <laughs> I need to get out of my brain. Okay, so this is three parts glue mix to one part Floetrol, and I think we'll do... A three to one so we'll do three ounces of this to one ounce of paint we'll see where we're at okay that's three one that's okay we're gonna do one ounce of this magenta might have to get more of this <laughs> Okay, where did that other stick go? There it is. You stir not fold. Yes, I know. Okay, so this got really chunky. Do you see? So, I don't know if that's the PVA glue. I know it's not the paint. It must be the glue. Well, that's kind of a bum note. Stir and stir. Well, look at that. That is from the glue. Well, see, it's just like completely separated. Hmm. 
well, let's try it with some inexpensive paint, maybe. Because I've never seen that happen. Maybe it's because my glue is old. I mean, some of the old glue that I have is probably two or three years old, but I wouldn't think so. It's still glue. Let me grab a bottle of craft paint. Let's see what I got over here. Of course, these are all old too because I don't really use them. These might even be dried up. I don't even know. <laughs> well, that one's dried up. I don't use craft glue. I have a whole bunch of it that I was given. I never used it, except for one painting that I'm going to sand down and start over. Get out of there, you little bug. <clears throat> Let me see something. There's a little stick. I need a little stick. I need a little stick. Okay, well, that one looks okay. So let's do that up. Let's try this again. Well, actually, you know what? Let's do this. Now let's try it with a different cup. I'm actually kind of upset about that. Okay, so let's try this again. We're gonna stir this up. <clears throat> We're gonna do we're going to do two. Well, there's two and a half. Okay. Oh, well, that's a little bit much, but let's see if this does it. Okay, this didn't do it. So, see this nice orange. That is weird. No, I don't have hot tap water. I mean, I can get hot tap water, uh, not tap water. I'll just get, I'll just go hit my kettle. Um, it'll take a few minutes, but and then we'll just put a little bit of hot tap, a little bit of hot water. It'll be very hot water because I use it to make my coffee and my tea. Well, I'm going to put this over here so I don't spill it and put that on top. I guess we'll be using the Craft Smart Flame. <laughs> oh, but this looks really, I don't want to add any water to it because it's really thin. It's like almost water. I mean, I'm sorry that if I sounded kind of bitchy there about the hot water, I'm in my studio and my kitchen is like down the hall and around the corner. So um, I don't have hot water available to me in my studio um, just because it's actually a living room, dining room area. <laughs> and I'm sorry if it sounded bitchy. I, did, I just realized that it might have sounded bitchy. So, um, but... I'm, it looks like the pigment has separated. So I'm gonna go put my cat. I'm gonna go put my kettle on, <laughs> and 
and see if we add just a little bit of hot water because I don't get very hot water out of my pipes for about, it actually takes longer for me to get hot water out of my pipes here than it does for me just to hit the kettle button. So, and that's filtered water too. It's not tap water. Um, I live in a city and the tap water here is disgusting. So, oh, how chocolate. So I was just talking to Jason about chocolate milk because um, I make a chocolate syrup that is makes the best chocolate milk ever. Hang on. Okay, and now I can make a cup of coffee too when I'm done. <laughs> okay, so let's try another craft. Actually, you know what? Let's try a different brand of paint. Um, maybe it's just the Liquitex Basics has too much is a higher pigment, and you know I'm not I'm not really worried about um, about the paint part of it. Sorry for the crinkle, y'all. That's where I put the crinkle from yesterday. Okay, I'm trying to find um, some paint that I can use. Let's use the Artist Loft Deep Magenta. We'll do the pink and the orange. That'd be kind of cool for a pour. Thank you for understanding, Julia. Um, let's try um, this. So I'm, I used Liquitex Basics in this one, okay? I'm gonna try, and then I used the craft paint and it blended up beautifully. And so let's try the artist off. Maybe it is just the fact that this is so much highly, more highly pigmented than, um, than the other paints. Um, so let's see what happens. And then I can make a coffee <laughs> or some tea. I can make some tea too. I've got every kind, I've got all kinds of tea. Okay, so we're gonna go for three. There we go. And have the foil enough. Dude, that was not cool. <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna grab the lid before I step on it and break it. Okay. And then we're gonna do one ounce of paint. So three to one. Okay, booger. There we go. So we got a total of four ounces in there. Okay, let's put that back over there. Grab ourselves a sticky stick. Give this a stir. Okay, this, that is peculiar. Okay. So if you're gonna be mixing <laughs> glue, now this has a little bit of separation. I don't know if you'll be able to pick up on it. Let me stir this a little bit too. So if you're gonna be using glue water mix and you don't want to mess with hot water, stick with the level one paints or craft paint. My water is just about ready in there. I can hear it warring. But this has just a little tiny bit of separation too. So I'm going to put just a tiny drop of water in there because I don't want to water it down anymore because this is like, this disappears. You know what? Maybe I should do. Because we did what? 
three to one. So let, let me do another half ounce of paint in there. Where did my paint go? That's not it. There it is. Because this was two to one. So let's do two to one on this one too. So let me add just a little bit more. Get rid of the wiggle. Come on. There you go. That helped a little bit. I mean, stick isn't still going to stand up in there. And that's the kind of thickness I like to pour with. I don't like the... We'll have to do a swipe with these three. Okay, my water is done. Let me go grab my kettle. Move this. I bat tish. Don't pick it up by the glass. You know better. Okay. Those are the only two we're going to mix up. We'll use a black, we'll use a just a regular pouring base, Floetrol and water, or Floetrol and paint, the white acrylic paint, or the white Floetrol paint. And that's what we're going to use as a background for all of these. Okay, so I'm going to put that back there so it's out of my way because I don't want to spill it because I will spill it. Okay, so this is my kettle. I don't know if you guys have one of these, but this Hamilton Beach thing, I think I got it at, I got, no, I got it at Costco and it was under $20. And I've had it for four years. Okay, just a little bit of hot water. Okay, let's see if that helps. No, that did not help. Helped a little bit. And stir and stir and stir. No, that's not really helping. Bye, Lisa. Mix my school glue and hot water ahead of time. 70% glue. See, I didn't use hot water to mix my glue. Maybe that's the problem. All right, let's put a little bit of hot water in this one and see if that helps in here. Now, I'm also using, in my glue mix, there is decoupage, uh, uh, not decoupage, Mod Podge. So that might be the culprit, too. Well, you know what we're going to do? We're still going to do a pour with it. So we're going to see how it dries. Because I think, you know what, possibly... This might be kind of cool because that white might that white is going to disappear and it's going to be leave a little flex of color behind, right? So we're still going to do a pour with it just because I live on the wild side. And I'm going to I actually have a little tiny um, mixer stick, but I need to find batteries for it. And I'm going to try it, hitting this with that. I'm going to go put this back in my kitchen before I get paint on it. That helped a little bit with this, but I'm going to, we're still going to, we're just going to pour and see what happens. Why not? We already have it mixed up.
So, you know, my philosophy is it's already mixed up. Why <clears throat> why not go for it? You know, I mean, because this is the same pink and I'm trying to understand why this one mixed up different than this one and why it did this because it's not the paint. So it must be the medium. But then the craft paint mixed up just fine. This one has a little bit of issue and this one doesn't. So, or... This one has a little bit of an issue, and this one has a whole bunch. So, I'm thinking we're gonna do a, we're still gonna do a pour with these. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit I'm gonna log off here. Um, we were talking about milkshakes and stuff, and it made me hungry, so I'm gonna grab something to eat. Um, and. Then I'm going to go find batteries. I have batteries somewhere. I don't use batteries very, very often. Um, so I'll go find some batteries for my little mixer stick and give it a whirl. Let it sit overnight. You know, maybe things will change overnight. Who knows? Weird stuff is known to be happening. <laughs> and then um, while I'm watching the TRW live, I will mix up some other, <clears throat> some other paints with this Glidden. Because I have, like I said, I have this whole big thing, and I'm I'm done with the bloom pours. I'm just done. And I, I tried it. It's pretty and and all that, but I would rather do something different. It's not gonna. It's not. It's not my style. Let's just put it that way. So, um, because I need to go. Menards tomorrow and get more flow trawl, but I can get at least the base mixed up like I did with these, and we can add a little bit more flow trawl to it later. That's not going to add too many bubbles. So I'm going to cover these up. Well, this one, these two, I'm not going to cover up. This one, I'm going to cover up. See, this is nice and this is nice. What the deuce? <laughs> I don't understand. And I might, if I'm at Michael's, they had, they had the clear glue, the clear craft glue on sale for $9.99 for a big, like, I think it was a gallon jug or a half gallon jug. I might get that and then put some distilled water in my kettle. Cause I gotta clean, funny thing is I gotta clean that thing out anyway. So I might as well put some distilled water in it, do the, do this thing with the hot water. I've never heard, I, I guess I, I've never been interested in doing the glue, so I've never really paid attention to using hot water or not. Maybe that's my bad. Well, I know that's my bad. But, oh, dude, you're just that fur too, too little. All right. We'll make it work. I'm all about cooperation here. Um, but... And then we'll try it with clear glue and see if that makes any difference. Yeah. I, I'm like I said, I, I love experimenting. This is this is my happy place. I'm actually already feeling better than I was when I started. Um, I'm not hundred percent, I'm still probably seventy-five percent, but that's up from twenty-five percent. So I, I appreciate you guys coming and, and sharing this time with me and giving me some input. And this is this is what I want our channel to be. This, and I call it our channel because um, I want it to be a community where we all put our two cents in, where we all give each other ideas and <clears throat> and just kind of because I don't know all there is to know on the interwebs. And I don't know about y'all, but, you know, if, if everybody knew what was all on the interwebs, we wouldn't need Google, you know, <laughs> so we just know it, you know. So. Anywho. I will be back tomorrow night at 9.30. Um, Doris is doing her live, I do believe, at 6.30. Um, tomorrow night. And I'm going live at 9.30 for a Tish Talk. And I have a really good topic for that. And I need to pound out the edges of that one. Um, but TRW, the Rhinestone World, is going live on their channel at 7 p.m. tonight. They do give away a Cameo for, Cameo Silhouette 4. They also do live training. They give away mini packs of their, of their, of their things. So if you have a silhouette or a circuit, um, 
you can use it. It's an SVG file you can use on yours. Um, I'm thinking next Monday um, we'll do something similar to this. Or if you're interested, let me know in the comments below. We'll do some silhouette work. Um, because <clears throat> it's one of the things that I've been trying to get back into, but with everything that was going on between the YouTube 100 challenge and then Christmas and Thanksgiving and holidays and blah, 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 and craziness, um, I just got kind of shuffled to the side. Um, this week, I'm focusing an hour each day on getting everything organized. So, because I got a lot of stuff for the silhouette, a lot. So, um, anyway, um, if you like this video and would like to see more, subscribe. If you like this video, smash that like button. And if you know anybody who would enjoy this video or might have some information to, to share with us, I, I appreciate comments um, down below in the comment section just to, you know, hey, this is what I do. This works for me. I live in this type of area, you know, because people who live in the desert, you know, they have a much different de definition of what works for them than someone who, say, lives by the ocean. So, um, you know, we all got to take that into consideration, too. So, anywho, I'm in dry, cold Minnesota, and I appreciate you stopping and spending your time with me. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful for you. Peace, love, and happiness. Yes, Julia, I do have a Facebook page. It's uh, the artist HFS, the artist Haven. Just do at sign the artist Haven and it'll get to you there. Peace.